So next to me, I've got a stack of boxes that's literally stacked from the floor to above my head. And we're gonna unbox all of it in today's video. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and in today's video I'm doing the largest sneaker unboxing I've ever done on the channel and probably just have ever done in life. So in this stack of boxes we've got Yeezys, we've got Nike Dunks, we've got Pumas, we've got New Balances, we've got New Balance collaborations, we've got Reeboks, we've got sneakers that don't even have brands, that's how many sneakers are here and we're gonna unbox every single one of them today. It's gonna be a crazy video. It might be monumental. I'm not sure if that's a good way to describe it, but that's how I'm thinking I'm gonna describe it. This video is gonna be nuts, and uh, somehow we're gonna try and fit it all into one video and not a two-parter, because I feel like a two-parter is unnecessary. I feel like we can knock these all out at once and it not be like a 40-minute video, but we'll see. Now, as you guys can see, a lot of these sneakers I've actually taken out of their original boxes just because I wanted to see what they were, but none of these sneakers I've really opened yet or have worn at all because I wanted to wait until it's unboxing video before I really got any good use out of them. So this is sort of like a nice mix of sneakers that have been sent to me or sneakers that I've bought. But we've got a lot of sneakers here that I'm really excited to unbox. But before we actually dive into the unboxing, I want to tell you guys about my brand which I started specifically so I could sponsor my own videos. That's not totally true, but Apothecary. So Apothecary is the sock company that I started with a good friend of mine from college and we pride ourselves in making the best socks ever. And this Friday, August 6th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, we're dropping one of the most exciting sock collections ever. And the reason I say that is because we're mashing up two of our most popular collections, the Reflective Collection and the Midtop Collection, into one crazy amalgamation collection called the Reflective Mid Collection. I honestly have no idea why it took us like a year and a half to make this collection because this is something that we should have done from the start. So in this collection we've got four different colors of Reflective Midtop socks. We've got the Black Reflective, we've got the Blue Reflective, we've got the Orange Reflective, and we've got the Red Reflective. And all four of these colorways were specifically designed to go great with sneakers and also look great on their own. My personal favorite color out of the collection is the dark navy color because it's a color that we haven't really done a lot of and I actually have a lot of sneakers in my collection that have like really nice dark navy hits that this sock just ties in so well with. And of course all the socks in the collection feature reflective logos like the apothecary logo across the top of the sock and the reflective high stakes text on the toe. Meaning that when you hit these socks with a the flash they're just going to light up and look crazy. I'm obsessed with this collection and I know I say this about every single collection but this one is one of my favorites. Seriously though, this collection is fire and it would go with any of the sneakers that I'm unboxing in today's video. And if you guys wanna grab any of the four colors or maybe all four of the colors, they drop this Friday, August 6th at 11 a.m. Eastern time on apothecary.com. You can also follow us on Instagram at apothecary if you guys like, and I've left links to both of those places in the description below. But with that being said, let's dive right into this unboxing and I literally have no idea where to start. Um, I guess we'll start things off with uh, this pair of Pumas because this is the first box that I saw, so here we go. So as you can tell from the box, this is a pair of Puma Dreamers. I'm not sure exactly which Puma Dreamer this is. Now I am because I just read the tag, but you guys don't know yet. So let's pop the top on this guy. Huge shout out to Puma for sending this pair over. This is J. Cole's basketball sneaker. Let's see it. Ooh, I like that color. That's it, I'm ripping the paper like crazy. <laughs> So this is the, I guess the low top Puma Dreamer in this really nice, what's the colorway? Aquarius Puma Black colorway. So this is the uh, the Aquarius Puma Black Puma Dreamer. And you know what, I've gotta say, out of all the, uh, the recent Puma Dreamers, I think this one's my favorite. I like the original colorway the best, but after that I think this one comes next. This is just a super clean shade of blue. I like how it's like pretty simple. You've just got the blue on the upper and then the black and the midsole and the outsole and then of course on these panels throughout the upper of the shoe. But this is one of those shoes that I feel totally comfortable like going to the office in the morning with this shoe and then going to the basketball court at night in this shoe and playing in these as well because it's like a colorway that just goes with a lot. I actually have a pair of orange Puma Dreamers that they sent over a little while back which I've been wearing on a relatively regular basis and I think out of all the different variants this might be the one that I go with just because it's such a clean look. So huge thank you to Puma for this. Really appreciate it. Let's move on to the next package. You guys might have noticed that I'm kind of zooming through these and it's only because there are 10 packages. So the next package is this pair of Reeboks. Shout out to Reebok for sending something over. They don't often send stuff over, so when they do, I really, really appreciate it. This is a pair of Reebok Workout Pluses. Classic pair, okay, let's see it. Oh, there's a note, gotta read the note first. Reebok Classics, feel golden. Hits of gold, pops of color, and a splatter of style. First day back should be in the new Reebok Classics collection. The future looks bright and timeless. Show us your fit and tag at Champ Sports. So Champ sent this over. Thank you so much, Champs, I really appreciate that. You guys are the best, let's see them. Let's see these uh, workout pluses. Ooh, very clean. So they come in this all white look with this sort of like, uh, I guess, sparkly Reebok logo there on the side. And then also, ooh, 
That's kind of cool. Like these metal Reebok classic uh, lace locks at the bottom, and then also the Reebok logo there with some almost like bedazzle ing. Is that what's called bedazzling on the bottom of it? I don't know what's called, but sparkly. Almost looks like uh, tiny diamonds. I dig that. But it's kind of cool to have these three like metal accents at the bottom of the laces. That's different. I haven't seen that before. Thank you so much, champs. Appreciate that. Very nice pair of sneakers. The traction pattern's interesting. I always love this sort of weird, like interlocking finger traction pattern. Okay, on to the next pair. So the next shoe that we're gonna unbox, I think I'm gonna go with this pair right here. So this is a very special pair of sneakers from a few store. This is a European sneaker boutique that I've actually uh, unboxed some of their collaborations before. But what makes this shoe so cool is that this is actually a shoe that they made from scratch. Like this is an a few branded sneaker, which I think is crazy. I have mad respect for, huge shout out to a few you for that and also sending this my way. I really appreciate it and I'm very excited to see it. Ooh, we've got a note. Okay, why do I get so excited about notes? I don't know, but here we go. It says, hey Seth, here you have our very first own sneaker, the A Few Goods Yamasura Soil. It is all about the shape and the quality combined with the vintage aesthetics. We hope you love them as much as we do. Peace and love from Germany, Team A Few Goods. Very cool. Thank you guys so much for this. Seriously, I really appreciate it. And I love when brands send me sneakers that they've actually made themselves. It does not happen much, but it's crazy when it happens. I mean, obviously Adidas and Puma, and they all send me sneakers that they made themselves, but brands that don't make sneakers, making sneakers is super cool. And we have another one of those coming up, which uh, I'll get to in a bit. But this sneaker from A Few Goods looks, ooh, very, very clean. So this is the Yamasura. Not sure exactly what it means, but I like the name and I like the colorway a lot too. As someone who's designed a sneaker with a brand, we are underdogs in particular, I uh, have a lot more respect for sneaker design than I did in the past because let me tell you, it is a lot harder than you would think. And I think on their first attempt, a few goods knocked it out of the park. This shoe is incredible. I really love the quality of the materials that they used. They've got a new buck around the heel with the A Few Goods logo embroidered in the back, Yamasura embroidered on the lateral side. You've got some more new buck or almost like a felt feeling material on the toe, some really nice white mesh. And then they've got the A Few Goods logo right there on the side in this really nice sort of like burnt orange colorway, which I really like. And then the sock liner of the shoe comes in a nice contrasting white with what seems to be actually sketches of the shoe printed on the insole. And then something I'm just noticing now, which is mad cool, is that they actually have their logo on the outsole of the sneaker, which actually means that they tooled this outsole from scratch, which is something that I've never been able to do, and I'm sure that was pretty expensive to do. So huge shout out to them for that. That is definitely some dedication to creating your own sneaker from scratch. This is really incredible. I mean, they've got their logo on the midsole, which means that they actually, uh, <laughs> they straight up created a whole new mold for this sneaker. Wow, that's incredible. It's a great look. It's definitely different than a lot of the other sneakers in the market. And if your main goal is to have something that helps you stand out, like you're wearing something that no one else has, this is a shoe to go with. Because this shoe, not many people have because it's a brand new sneaker from a brand that uh, just started making sneakers. So huge shout out to A Few Store for this pretty crazy accomplishment. You guys rock. I love this. So I think next up, I'm going to go with another pair of Pumas. We've got another pair of Puma Dreamers. This one actually showed up like two, three days ago. And uh, it's a much bigger box than the other pair, so I'm assuming it's a different style. But let's open this guy up, see how it looks. Ooh, it's a mid top. Okay. So this is the Puma Dreamer Mid in what seems like a white and gum colorway. This is actually, this is actually fire. I might have to actually rock these ASAP Rocky. I mean, ASAP J. Cole. So these are the Puma Dreamer mids in a very nice white and gum colorway. I love how the upper of the shoe doesn't come in like one shade of white. It's tonal whites. It really gives the upper of the shoe some dimension, which I like a lot. Also the mid top version definitely will give you a little bit more support around your ankles. So if you're playing ball in these, this might not be a bad way to go if you need that ankle support. Very clean look, all white midsole, which is nice. You've got some pretty nice seemingly tumbled leathers on the toe, some suede's on the medial side. You've got some more suede hits on the lateral side. And then of course the meshes and textiles and other things like that. And then of course you've got the Puma Dreamer logo printed on the heel in black so it stands out because there are no other black accents on the shoe. Very clean, very simple pair of Puma Dreamer mids. I think these just came out last week so if you guys wanna grab them, they should be available through some of the links in the description below. I have left some affiliate links in the description so if you guys wanna grab any of the sneakers that we talk about, that's the place to grab them. Um, I guess we will go with these guys. So this is another pair of sneakers from a company that doesn't usually make sneakers, but now makes sneakers. And that is Mosh, Mosh Custom. So he's a customizer that I've looked up to for 
almost a decade at this point, it's crazy. I used to customize sneakers, and he's someone who's always been at the forefront of sneaker customization, so I've always really looked up to him. And I bought his first sneaker, the Mosh Centralia, um, a couple months back, and now he has, well, he's had a couple colorways since then. But this is the newest colorway called Gouache by Mosh. Gouache is a style of paint, or a paint. Um, and uh, I'm assuming this colorway, actually I know what this colorway is because I bought it, but this colorway is a very cool gouache inspired colorway. So, whoo! So this is a tie-dye colored Mosh Centralia that looks very, very clean called the Gouache by Mosh. And actually the inside of the box is also very clean, inspired by painting. I love the look of the inside of this box, but of course, I love the sneakers more. I think Mosh absolutely killed the design of this sneaker. Not just the colorway, but the overall design of the sneaker. It works so well with really any colorway. It's crazy. It's a timeless design. It's this beautiful runner look. I love it. Huge congratulations to Mosh. He's honestly one of the most talented designers, sneaker or otherwise, out there. So huge shout out to him for just continually killing it. But this sneaker is so, so sick. And I think it's actually maybe a randomized tie-dye, but I think this shoe is just insane. I haven't seen a tie-dye sneaker done this well, really ever, I think. This is probably the best tie-dye shoe I've ever seen. Not that there's a lot of tie-dye shoes, but this shoe is, this shoe is crazy. So it seems like the main material used on the shoe is canvas because I believe that's inspired by, you know, a canvas that you paint on. It could also be that this material needed to be this material so that they could tie-dye it or print it or however they did it, but it's an incredible, incredible looking sneaker. Huge shout out to Mosh for creating an insane sneaker. I bought these a couple months ago as pre-order and they finally came in and I cannot wait to wear these. Can't wait. I honestly can't tell which part of the shoe I like the most. I think I might like the medial side of the right shoe the most because it has a lot of purples. I love purple. Not just because I'm a Ravens fan, I just love purple in general. But the color contrasts that he creates on both sides of the shoes are pretty incredible. Like you've got the greens and the pinks on this side and the blues and the oranges on the other side. Super, super clean look. Okay, so next up, I think I'm gonna unbox this pair of New Balances because this is something that they sent over a while ago and I, have unboxed it for an Instagram story. By the way, follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet so you guys can see these uh, sort of pre-unboxings. But I haven't unboxed it on video yet, so that's what we're doing here. This is a very cool pair of sneakers. Let me pop the top on these guys. Whew. So these are the BB9000. So this is a brand new basketball sneaker from New Balance. It's inspired by retro sneakers. And let me tell you, this sneaker is one of the wildest basketball sneakers I have ever seen. I love the aesthetic of this shoe. And this is a basketball sneaker that I will definitely be wearing off court. Probably more so than on court because like I said, I don't play basketball that much. This shoe is just such a wild looking sneaker. I love how crazy it looks and how different it is. And the fact that the upper of the shoe looks like sort of a mix of just classic sneakers mashed up with just futuristic tech sneakers. And then the shoe is kind of like split in half by this midsole, which has a straight cut. You've got this crazy traction pattern on the outsole that's semi-translucent, and that's sort of separated from the, the leathers and the cracked leather on the toe, and the really nice sort of tonal grays and tans. This is just such a clean and wild looking sneaker. And actually something that I'm just noticing now is that the laces on this shoe come in this really nice sort of like very light lime color which I think is super clean. I should have done this unboxing video sooner because a lot of these sneakers I've wanted to wear for a while and I just haven't been able to. This is an insane shoe. I love this. I mean, you've got this super soft suede or nubuck right there on the top of the toe, a 3M hit, or I guess reflective hit because not every reflective hit is 3M. I've made that mistake in the past. You've also got this sort of exposed foam tongue. It also calls out on the back of the sneaker that it's got a fuel cell midsole, which is nice, adds some comfort there. I love it. Dude, New Balance's design team, kills it every single time. They have not released a sneaker this year that I didn't like. At least not one of their like mainline sneakers. I haven't really kept track of all of their releases, but the sneakers that they really promote, every single one of them has been fire. And honestly, I feel like they're gonna keep killing it. And I hope that they do because New Balance is just like one of those brands that I can't help but root for. You know what, let me read the note really quick because I feel like I might've missed some details about the shoe. So the note says, made for life between shoot arounds. The BB9000 is a celebration of our basketball heritage. We took it back to luxury materials and infused the silhouette's modern construction with classic detailing. The branding, the premium leather, the full length performance cushioning and oversized laces with the wax dipped aglets. Oh, okay, you've got wax dipped aglets, which I love that detail. I love when brands do that. The BB9000 is a new kind of basketball modernism. That's sick. Shout out to New Balance Hoops for sending this over too. I really appreciate that, guys. Okay, awesome. On to the next sneaker. And I think I'm actually going to keep it with New Balance and a box of shoe, which annoyingly has fallen out of the box. So let me just grab it really quick. So this is a pair of New Balance sneakers that I bought 
like two weeks ago or three weeks ago at this point. I just haven't had a chance to unbox it yet. This is a pair of sneakers that I'm wildly excited for. It's not a collaboration. It's one of New Balance's classic sneakers just remade. Unfortunately, I was only able to grab a size nine and a half, which is half a size bigger. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these or sell them and then buy a size nine or try and trade for them. Maybe on trade block, we'll see. Let's pop the top, see what we've got. Here we go, ooh, look at that. Look at this. Okay, you know what? Before we check out the sneakers though, let's take a look at this bag that comes with it. So you've got this really cool dust bag that says New Balance 990 V Series and this really nice suede with this nice hit of red right there on the uh, pull strings or the draw strings. Very cool. You've got some extra sets of laces and then you've got the shoes themselves. Now let's get to the shoes. So these are the New Balance 990 V2s. This is a classic New Balance silhouette. It seems like New Balance is actually remaking or I guess re-releasing some of their classic 990s. I think leading up to the 990 V6s. So they've released the 990 V1s in the special version. They've released the 990 V2s in the special red tag version as well. I'm sure the V3s are coming and the V4s and V5s, but the V2s were the only ones that I was actually able to grab so far. I missed out on the V1s. I may pay resale for them. I may not, depending on if I can find a good price for them. But this shoe is like the epitome of New Balance. This is the shoe that sort of set the foundation for New Balance, or one of the shoes that sort of set the current modern foundation for New Balance. This is like a classic lifestyle sneaker that comes in this beautiful sort of warm gray color. It's covered in suede. The suede feels incredible. It's got this reflective New Balance logo. It's got this special limited edition version two tag. So what's interesting about this collection is that they're releasing like super limited quantities of it and they're slowly releasing version one, version two, version three, and so on. Obviously they just released version two. I don't know when version three is coming out, but definitely gonna try and grab that shoe because the V3 I think is my favorite out of all the 990s so far. But getting into some of the details, you've got this red embroidered tag text on the tongue that says 990 New Balance made in the USA. The shoe of course was made in the USA and they love telling you that with this made in the USA tag which I think is super cool. You've got the USA logo on the back. For people who don't really care about New Balance I can understand why this shoe would look just like a regular dad shoe but if you care about New Balance you love the history of the brand and you just love the brand as a whole this shoe is Pretty incredible. I really dig it and I'm excited about the other sneakers coming out and eventually I might try and complete the collection but uh, I'm afraid the resale prices are gonna start just climbing and climbing and climbing. I think this one's reselling for like 40, 50 bucks over retail. And I think the version one is selling for like $70 over retail. So I'm definitely just trying to find a good deal. Oh, and of course the dust bag and the laces and things like that only come with this special anniversary edition, not with the standard pair of 990 V2s, at least not that I'm aware of. But onto the next pair to unbox. I'm losing my voice a little bit. We've been recording for like, wow, almost. 50 minutes at this point. The next pair that we're gonna unbox, I actually picked up on my recent $20 sneaker collection video when I was in New York City. It is a pair of Nike Dunks that I grabbed from Nike Lab. So this pair, as you guys might be able to tell from the box, is not my size, it's my wife's size. I grabbed it for my wife. It is a pair of Nike Dunks, but the reason I grabbed this shoe is because this is a shoe that I really wanted for myself, but unfortunately, the only pair that I could find for retail was the pair that they had in my wife's size. They didn't have my size, so. So here they are. You guys probably already know what they are. These are the Fragment Nike Dunk Highs. This is the, uh, I believe, the Tokyo colorway. This is a re-release of a Tokyo exclusive pair that released back in 2001, 2003, I don't remember. I don't know a lot of the history behind the shoe, to be honest with you, so I think the original colorway had like a mismatching upper. Not 100% sure on that, but this is one of the first Fragment Nike collaborations. I mean, at least the original one was. And since then, Fragment has collaborated with Nike a bunch. And obviously, most recently, they just collaborated on the Travis Scott Fragment Air Jordan 1s, which were crazy. This was a collaboration that dropped, I think, two or three weeks ago. A pair that I tried to get in my size, unfortunately I couldn't, but a very, very clean Nike Dunk. My wife doesn't actually have any Nike Dunks, let alone Nike Dunk highs, so I'm excited to be able to add a pair of these to her collection. I may actually try and grab a pair in my size so we can match. I've done that in the past, but I've ended up selling the pairs of sneakers that I had that matched, so we don't have any matching pairs at the moment except for the off-white Nike Air Force One neon greens, which neither of us wear that much. But when we do wear them, we match, which is kind of, you know, it's pretty cute. I know they don't really have any resale value, so that's probably why they were sitting, but I think they're a great looking pair of sneakers and uh, I'm excited to see it rocking them. I haven't let it rock them yet because I've been waiting to film this unboxing. Okay, so we've got two pairs of sneakers left. I've tried to speed through the other pairs. Um, I'm gonna try and speed through these two because I don't know how long this video is at this point, but as you guys can tell, one of the pairs is a New Balance collaboration, which I'm sure some of you guys know what it is already just from the box. And then the other pair is a pair that I actually got from Yeezy Day and it just came in right before I filmed this video. Let's start with the New Balances first, then let's get to the Yeezys, keep it simple. So this is a New Balance collaboration that I didn't love at first, 
and then I sort of warmed up to it because I bought the original version of this collaboration and I fell in love with that pair and then I realized I need this pair as well. So I spent resale on it. I spent way too much on it because the resale price dropped after I bought this, which is annoying, but it is what it is. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what it is based on just the name of the collaboration. So this shoe is a collaboration with Salehi Bembury, who uh, I believe was actually the creative director at Versace for a long time. And now has collaborations with New Balance and Crocs. His Crocs collaboration is sick. But this is the Salehi Bembury New Balance. 2002R. This is an incredibly clean sneaker. The initial collaboration that he did was on the same silhouette, the 2002R, but came in an orange, which I really liked. And this Water Be The Guide colorway is super, super clean. Like I said in previous Weekly Heat videos, at first I didn't like this shoe because I just didn't know how I was gonna feel about this blue with this green. But after wearing the 2002Rs in the original colorway, and after looking at these more, it's a classic case of Hype beast itis catching up to me. I think my favorite part about these sneakers is the materials that they used. Like they used this super long pile suede on the upper, which feels incredible to the touch. It feels hairy, it feels like I'm touching a Muppet, and I love it. And then you've also got this really nice widely spaced mesh on the toe that comes in like a light orangish pinkish color. You've got the New Balance logo in the chenille green. You've got this nice hit of leather on the tongue. You've got the fingerprint texture, which I think is Salehi Bembry's like signature detail on the heel of the sneaker in this nice neon green. You've got this splatter print midsole. And I think just the material quality on this sneaker alone is what makes the sneaker as good as it is. I mean, obviously the colorway is fire. I think I still prefer the orange colorway more than this colorway because I like how the entire thing is like a monochromatic orange. This one though might pop a little bit more and I think definitely draw some more attention to your feet if that's what you're looking for. I really felt like I needed this colorway because I couldn't not complete the set. I had to. And I think I'm gonna have to grab those Crocs that he's releasing if I can get them for retail. I'd love to know what you guys think about the Salehi Bembury collaborations as a whole, at least with New Balance. Okay, now getting into the last sneaker, which we're gonna unbox. There are so many boxes over here that are open, it's just a mess. The last shoe that we're gonna unbox is right here. This is a pair of sneakers that I got off Adidas Yeezy Day. Actually by accident, I wasn't even planning to try and grab these. I just entered all the Yeezy Day, um, not raffle, I guess they're raffles, the Yeezy Day event, and I happen to win this pair, which I'm actually happy about because it's a new pair of sneakers that I can review on the channel, so if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comment section down below once you know what this pair of sneakers is. And as you guys can see, the silhouette of this shoe is the Yeezy 700, it is the V3 model, which is something you guys might not have known from just the 700 on the top. And I bought this shoe in a size nine and a half because this particular Yeezy 700 silhouette fits small. So I wanted to go a half size up. But I actually have not seen these in person yet. So let's slide them open and see how they look. So this is the Yeezy 700 V3 Dark Glow, I think is what it's called. Um, but it looks just like the Alvas. I mean, this is, this is the Alvas, except not because apparently it's a different SKU number. So these Dark Glow 700 V3s apparently have a super strong glow on the upper, which is why they're called the Dark Glow 700 V3s. Again, I'm surprised that this is a different colorway because I mean, this looks just like the Alvas. Like one to one. I mean, okay, maybe the, no, the materials are the same. I think even the color of the foam is the same. This is a little weird. What's the colorway of this? Dark glow, dark glow, dark glow. I was gonna go a little bit more in depth, but that's when I was expecting these shoes to be a little bit more different. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys know what the differences are, because I don't. I have no idea what the differences are between these and the Elvis. They look identical to me. I mean, maybe there's like a subtle color difference on like this gray part of the shoe, but that's, that's it. Maybe they glow more. I'm not sure. Let me try and charge them up a little bit. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see a full review of these sneakers. So guys, I think that pretty much wraps up the entire video for today. We've unboxed 10 different pairs of sneakers. They're all over the studio. I'm trying to put them all on me right now so you guys can see all of them, but it's gonna be impossible. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Make sure to also leave a comment in the comment section down below, letting me know which one of these sneakers you like the best. But with that, have a great one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.